Earth Echo International recognizes that young people are making a positive difference in the health of our planet by seizing opportunities to engage in their communities. Today, my co-host, Josh Carrera, and I are in South Florida at Rockway Middle School, where students are growing corals as part of their science classwork. You ready, Josh? Let's check it out. Yeah. Let's do it. Hey, everybody. Hi, everyone. I heard a lot of yelling in here. What's going on? Did it have something to do with this? Yeah. What's a reason that we, ca we should care about protecting coral reefs? Our coastal regions, like the beaches that we have, there. if we don't have coral reefs, they'll start to disappear because the wave erosion, um, eroding them back, and then it starts disappearing. Are part of the ocean food web. Ocean, that was going to be the next one I was thinking of. Exactly, food. They provide um, homes for organisms, other organisms. Food. They provide homes for organisms? Absolutely. Anybody thinking of another thing that coral reefs do? Attractions for yes, and tourism. That's terrific, exactly. They provide a lot of money and, and tourism. Through growing corals in the classroom, you have to maintain certain conditions and understand the animals. What have you been learning? I've been growing corals over the summer. This is the dead coral, and these three are alive. Terrific. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. We see the difference between how an alive coral looks versus a uh, dead coral looks. Okay, so we know that to keep corals healthy, we need the right conditions. How do you monitor that? We have a hydrometer there for measuring the salinity, and then we have the pH test there to measure the uh, acid, the acidity cool. of the water. As these students continue to grow corals at Rockway Middle School, they're developing a partnership with a nearby university to transplant their corals to seed and restore natural reef systems for ongoing scientific research. Ready for the challenge? Yeah! 